क्या आप डिप्रेस हो क्या आप काले मोटे या आलसी क्या आप इंसान जानवर या पंछी हो क्या आप जिंदा मुर्दा या मरने के तादाद में हो क्या आपकी और कोई ऐसी इंसिक्योरिटी है जो मैं एक्सप्लोइट कर सके तो ये लीजिए द नॉन पार्टिस प्रेजेंट गेट दिस इज हाउ दे गेट टू यू दिस is how they feed on your insecurities but honestly we feel that if a company is making its consumers happy and satisfied that's all right the real issue is when a company claims to do something but does not live up to its promises or its advertisements and for that you need to buy the non partisan presents get a life tea Yesterday, as Harsh and I, we along with our friends went to a restaurant. A friend of ours, she ordered a particular dish just because it looked very appealing in the menu card. But as soon as the dish came, boom! It was a disaster. Has something similar happened to you that you thought buying this will temporarily solve all your problems? But then all you did was waste your money, your time, your energy, your life, and your soul. It is. for people like us for whom this episode has been made misleading advertisement and now that it is the era of social media it's everywhere so starting with them it needs to stop making its ads look like a disney fiction movie that will come true if you have dream like when you meet a partner and you will happily ever after kya shubh kaam karne ja rahe ho main soch raha tha ki aapko ghar chhod dun Believe me, I occasionally do have dairy milk, and I'm still single. The only thing I'm close to is diabetes. Even Five Star has such misleading advertisements. Even though the company never really wanted to make it in a literal sense, people can pretty much relate to it. You know, after I'm done with eating my Five Star, the only place I'm lost in is between my two teeth, who have named Suresh and Ramesh, to pick out all the caramel. फाइव स्टार में है चॉकलेट कैरमल और नोगा तो खाइए और खो जाइए चॉकलेट कैरमल और नोगा तो खाइए और Another issue all they show is that if you spray it you're going to get lucky tonight and even got the match show that even got the match to that well so gets well and where the hell is sensor board huh where is it why is this shit not being censored and where the hell is pehlaj nehlani when you really need him time for some words of wisdom is lovely even if you are not fair you are still lovely be you and mr handsome you are still handsome even if you are not fair fair enough okay see so we need to stop these these over sexualized slice ads it's a mango drink not amrit rasia मीठा होता है मीठ दे सब्र है मैंगो स्लाइस प्योर ओवर सेक्सुअलाइज परफ्यूम एड्स जस्ट सटैक नीड टू स्टॉप ओवर सेक्सुअलाइज ब्यूटी प्रोडक्ट्स और ओवर सेक्सुअलाइज एनी एड्स Please tell us what the product does. Like an honest ad. This is a spray. What it does, it makes you feel presentable. It makes you feel nice so people will come around you. Now we as a company have invested a lot of money to make this and market this. So now please cut us some slack and buy this perfume. Thank you. This is a beauty fairness product method. And in all fairness, nothing is going to happen. 
So now that we are done with misleading advertisements that make you buy things for no reason, let's talk about a few advertisements that were misleadingly correct. Like Pepsi. Pepsi had his old motto as ye pyaas hai badi. Everybody knows now that Pepsi has chemicals which is made to make more space in your stomach so that you fill in with a lot of water. Like around 14 glasses of water on one bottle of Pepsi. Really, ye pyaas hai badi. I need some more. You are being a fool when you think this will help you cure your thirst. When all in reality is gonna do is make you burp. So instead, buy the non-partisan presents, get a life tea. Till the stocks last. So, an American advertising executive once said, The best advertisement should make you nervous about what you are not buying. This quote was said before the 1950s. And this has been a pressing issue ever since then. Pressing to the point that most of the major countries have now have advertising standards council. This board has to dedicate their entire life for one thing and one thing only. Keep a tab on fake ads like the non-partisan state. Because I like cold coffee. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Okay, bye. Multinational companies still have found various different ways to promote their own products. Their claims have not only been vague but very irrational as well. They have claimed increase intelligence, improve immunity, kill harmful germs, as well as boost gene quality. I know, right? Boost genes. F***ing idiots. So let's have a closer look into this. L'Oreal once claimed that their cream would not only increase beauty in 7 days, but also boost genes. For this really dumb shit move, L'Oreal had to pay $16,000 for every next violation. It's almost like low and real. I don't know. All of this don't really never ends with such a small fight. Red Bull landed up paying $13 million in fine for claiming that its product would increase concentration and reflect speeds. It doesn't. Common sense. Skechers paid $40 million. I'm saying as if it's a small deal, like 40 million. <laughs> okay, yaar, 40 million hai. Because it advertised claiming that just by wearing the shoes, you will burn calories. Oh, if this was true. Only if this was true. Only if this was true. But the real shit is when Volkswagen paid $61 billion in fine. That is more than twice of what Mukesh Ambani's net worth is for falsely advertising, saying that their vehicles were cleaner than what they really were. This though doesn't really end there. Companies have gone up to the extent that they have virtually created viruses and diseases to sell the products. In 1920s, Jordan Lambert, the owner of Listerine, created one of the greatest marketing scams ever. He used the lesser known Latin term helithosis to create such a marketing scam that people started to understand that helithosis or commonly known as bad breath was a real medical condition and people should pay more attention towards it. Because of this marketing scam, the sales of this company shot up from $115,000 to $8 million in just 7 years. The f Today, due to this condition, the helithosis, people are investing more than $1 billion a year and that is just in America. I am just thinking, what if we start filing lawsuits against uh, brands just like L'Oreal had against them? Like the number of number one brand of toothpaste that is present in India is unreal. This also is a very common issue in India. The ASCI, Advertising Standards Council of India, in February 2017 alone got 305 cases out of which 242 were found guilty of misleading advertisements or fake advertisements. 
this number is huge in itself by the end of our video we would like to tell our viewers and people in general that please just do not start buying things because it looks good in advertisements you may not really need it or it may not be as appealing as you thought it would be in advertisements you need to start thinking for yourself all you want to say to the companies is stop beating around the bush please and start talking about your product and what it does or if not that then go buy non partisans presents get a life tea so now guys we have reached to the segment of the quote of this episode and the quote of the episode is lord northcliff once said news is what somebody somewhere wants to suppress the rest all is just advertising so guys if you really like the video you know the drill like the video share the video let's start talking about this also subscribe to the channel guys because we are regular is proven now but before we leave guys we have one surprise for you and that is this are you jealous of your ex girlfriend's present boyfriend are you that uncle who keeps walking up to random kids at marriages saying your next or are you that aunty who calls up so lot and then says chodo na jaane do uski life uske problems then you all need to buy the non partisans get, get a life, life team